हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू फोर्स फेलो माई नेम इज अशोक टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड न्यूली इंट्रोड्यूस फ्यूचर ऑफ एल डब्ल्यू सी दैट इज वर्क स्पेस ए पी आई एज आई सेड दिस इज ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्यूचर वेन वी वर्क ऑन कस्टम यू आई डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग एल डब्ल्यू सी और ओरा बट एज ऑफ नाउ इट वॉज मिसिंग फ्रॉम एल डब्ल्यू सी एंड वॉज ओनली अवेलेबल इन ओरा सो ड्यू टू दैट वाइल वर्किंग इन एल डब्ल्यू सी वी हैड टू स्ट्रगल अलॉट and unnecessarily have to create aura components to use workspace api features but now we have a great news in winter 24 release that salesforce introduced workspace api in lwc as well it means now we can directly use workspace api feature in lwc itself and no need to create additional aura components all right so before moving further let's discuss about workspace api why it is so important and how it can help us in day to day programming So Workspace API provides some methods that can be used to work with Lightning console app tabs. So you know, in Salesforce Lightning apps, we can have two kind of navigations, standard and console. Here we are talking about console applications. So in console applications, Workspace API can help us to perform many operation like to open a tab or sub tab or to close a tab or sub tab. and also to refresh a tab and change tab label and icon and many such kind of other operations we can perform with lightning console tabs directly from lwc components so in nutshell workspace apis can help us to work with lightning console app tabs from our lwc components i created another video few months back where i explained how to use workspace api features in lwc without using aura but that was not a built in solution in lwc there i have used custom events to call workspace api methods because that was the only option to perform these operations without creating additional aura component now let me show you that component in my org and similar kind of functionality we will create today in this video with native workspace api feature this is the component which i created in that video here we are performing actions with tabs using workspace api in lwc component like on clicking of this button we will see a new tab here and also we can change tab label and icon and we can close this tab as well here we have few more buttons like to open a sub tab or to refresh a tab or to get all open tab informations at that time workspace api was not natively supported in lwc so there i used custom events to perform these operations if you are interested to know more about that there you can find video link in description but today in this video we will see how we can perform all these kind of operations in the lwc components with native workspace api feature and before that let's see where we can find all the available methods under workspace api for that you have to refer salesforce documentation i have this link opened with me we'll share this in video description so you can take from there In this documentation you can find all the available methods in workspace api like close tab disable tab close focus tab open a sub tab open a tab and lots of methods are available here and once you select any method then here you can find all the details related to that method like what this method will do what all parameters we can pass with this method and also we can find sample code here for both lwc and ora all right so here on this salesforce website we can find all the available methods with sample code in this video we will practically see few methods which address some common scenarios like how to open a new tab or sub tab or how to close a tab or refresh a tab okay so now let's move into practical implementation and open our vs code here i already created a component work space api demo with basic html markup i mean here i already added some buttons with on click handler like here we have buttons to open a new tab sub tab refresh tab and close tab and here in js file you can see handler methods for all of these buttons now let's start with open new tab button so again if we refer that documentation then to open a new tab we can use open tab method and can pass all these parameters like page reference record id url and all these are optional so first we have to decide what we want to open in new tab if you want to open a visual force page 
then we have to pass page detail in page reference property or if you want to open any salesforce record then we have to pass that record id into record id property or if you have anything else then we can go with the url as well like let's say you want to open any lwc or aura component or you want to open any external link in new tab then we can pass that details in url property okay few more parameters we can pass here like focus override name rules icon icon alternative and label so using all these parameters we can set all the configurations for our tab like we can set tab label tab icon and also we can set focus now let's use this open tab method in our lwc component so first step would be importing method from platform workspace api module we can take code from that website as well okay so from lightning platform workspace api module we have imported open tab method now let's call this in open new tab handler method and you know here we have to pass object as input parameter with all the required properties now here first we need to decide what we want to open in new tab so for now let's say we want to open an opportunity record and you know to open any salesforce record we have to pass record id here so let's take any opportunity id from our org and pass this id in record id property as of now i'm just passing a static hard coded id but maybe in your case you have to pass any dynamic id here now we can pass additional properties also like if you want to set focus on new tab then we can pass focus property here and pass true value and if you want to show any custom label on that new tab then you can pass that here okay that's it now let's deploy this component deployment is done i already added that component on account page so you can see all those four buttons here now once i'll click on this open a new tab button then we will see a new tab with opportunity record right and you can notice we have overridden the label as well like in label instead of opportunity name we can see our custom label which we set from our lwc component okay now let's work on other buttons as well like how we can open a sub tab or how to refresh a tab or how we can close a tab so first let's find a method to open a sub tab so here we have a open sub tab method so let's open it so here again you can find all the details or parameters that we want to pass in that method so everything is similar here from open new tab method but here one additional parameter we have that is parent id so in which tab we want to open sub tab that parent tab id we have to pass here so for now let's say we want to open a sub tab under this accounts tab which means under current tab so let's start writing code and first we have to import that method now let's call this in handler method and let's say again we want to open this opportunity record in sub tab so let's add everything as it is but in which tab we want to open this sub tab that tab id we have to pass as first parameter and as discussed we want to open sub tab in current tab it means we have to get current tab id here and for that we have a different workspace api method this one get focus tab info okay so here what i have done i have called focus tab info method and stored response in focus tab variable now this method will return an json object which has tab id property so i have used that property here and passed as parameter now what we are saying to this open sub tab method that this is the parent id in which you have to open sub tab and as a sub tab you have to open this record okay so let's quickly deploy it again and see what will happen
All right. Now we can see a sub tab under account tab, which means this functionality is also working fine. Now let's see how we can refresh and close a tab. So let's find out method here. This is to refresh a tab. And here we have to pass two parameters. First is the tab ID, which we want to refresh. And second is the Boolean value, which says, do you want to refresh child tabs as well? And default value is true. Now let's use this method in our component. And you know, as an input, we have to pass tab ID. So let's say we want to refresh current tab. So again, use this get focus tab info method. Here I'm using async and await instead of promises. If you don't know about these, then do let me know in the comments. I'll create a separate video and explain it to you. Now, here let's pass tab ID. And similarly, let's write code for close tab as well. I have imported close tab method and use that here. Okay. Now let's deploy this component again. Now let's click on this refresh tab button. You can see loader here. Let me click again. Right. Now let's click on this close tab button and see what will happen. All right. Our account tab has been closed, which means all the buttons are working fine. So this is how we can use any workspace API method in LWC component to work with lightning console tabs. Now let's see some key points. So first is this feature is available in beta as of now in LWC. I'm talking about winter 24 release, but that's fine. And we can start using it. And second thing is Lightning Web Security must be enabled in Salesforce org because Lightning Local doesn't support Workspace API in LWC, though by default it will be already enabled in new orgs, but in older orgs, you have to check it. And at last we have this Workspace API feature will only work in console applications, not in standard navigation applications. Okay, so that's it in this video. And I hope this video helped you to learn something new. If yes, then please help me to buy like and subscribe my YouTube channel that is completely free for you but really helpful for me and also don't forget to share your feedback in comments that will really give me motivation to create more such kind of videos for you. If you have any query or concern then you can connect me over mail or LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in next video.